Hey guys, this is Henry from OBD again. Today we're going to keep working on editing, audio editing in Studio One, and we're going to take it to another level. And today we're going to be demonstrating how to edit a compiled performance using pre recorded material. Okay, so what am I talking about here? Well, as you might know, Studio One and pretty much any other uh, digital audio workstation gives you the ability to record audio material on each track using either what Studio One call layers or takes, okay? Which pretty much means you can record something on that track on a certain layer. In this case, we have a vocal track here that has some audio material recorded, and that is layer two. But if I have another layer, like layer, layer this is layer one, by the way, sorry. If I have layer two, I could record something different in layer two. You can actually see when I switch from two to one, the audio information changes. Now let's go ahead and press play just so that we listen to what we have on this layer, um, layer one. Okay, this is by the way something that I recorded just for uh, tutorial purposes. But um, in in a practical real scenario, this would probably be either a vocal or let's say a bass, maybe a guitar or even drums. Okay. So let's go ahead and press play real quick. One, 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 one. So it's me basically just saying one, because it's layer one. Now if we switch to layer two, this one's gonna say two, and I'm gonna fast forward so we can listen to that. Two, 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 two. There it is. So. By the way, I don't know if you heard it, but the metronome uh, leaked into the microphone. So there you can hear the metronome a little bit uh, in the back. So let's say that you wanted to create a compiled take or a compiled layer, meaning you want to use parts of layer two and parts of layer one and put those parts together into a whole new take, whole new layer. Okay, how do you do that? Well, you have to create another layer. And by the way, you do this here from the inspector view. Uh, you go to layers and then you click on that little drop down and then you say at layer Layer three as you can see it's completely empty. That's where we're going to be putting the information from the other layers Now how do we do that? Well studio one is extremely powerful to do this. Okay, extremely powerful for two reasons one uh, It'll let you select and copy the information super easy and it'll also do the crossfades for you because as we explained on, on the previous tutorial when you have um, two audio events from two different recordings you want to have a crossfade happening between those two so the transition from one to the other um, it won't have any issues regarding you know clicks and pops and things like that so how do you do that well first thing you want to make sure um, here's your track you want to right click there and click on expand layers so when you expand layers as you can see, I can I can now see layer one, I can see layer two, and the current layer, which is the one that's empty, it's layer three. You can see because it's selected here. So how do you compile? Well, here we go. Extremely easy. Make sure that you have your arrow tool selected, which we do. The information that you want to have on your compile uh, layer, uh, you only you only need to highlight or select from the previous layer. So if I want to have this um, this part from layer one, I just literally click and drag, and as soon as I release it, boom, it just copy that into um, that compile layer, okay? Now, if I want the, the, the second part to be from layer two, I can basically click and drag, and as you can see, by the way, I clicked and drag, and I'm kind of overlapping there, boom, and what it did, it copied that, Put it on my compile layer, which is layer number three. You can see the colors, light blue, light blue, light green, light green, and it automatically did a crossfade for me. You can see it when I zoom in. So then if I want this part from layer one, I just click and drag, and then this part from layer two, I just click and drag, and as you can see, the crossfades are there. Now these crossfades have the default length. You can change that if you want. You can modify the crossfade, but Studio One does it really fast for you, okay? 
Now, if you press play, you should be able to listen to your compiled layer, in this case, layer three. Let's see what happens. One, two, one, two. Beautiful. So just as we expected, um, Studio One copied the information from layers one and two. Uh, it put it in our new layer or on our new layer three. Uh, and it created a crossfade so that the transitions would be seamless. So that's how you compile or edit your audio into a compile layer in Studio One. Uh, this is a procedure that you can apply to basses, you know, guitars, drums, vocals, extremely useful when you're doing vocals. Um, you might want to have different layers, like, you know, you might have your singer singing the first verse, you know, two or three times, so then you can pick and choose words from here, from there, so you can create a, a compiled version of that uh, that has the best parts of each, okay? So that is compiling uh, using layers in Studio One. Uh, once again, this philosophy you can apply on any other digital audio workstation, but as, as you could see, Studio One makes it extremely, extremely easy. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia at 615-933-6775. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.